way, the high bandwidth connection we have is at one distribution port. So I have a I have a smaller you saw it have a smaller data center there. Yeah. So and but it's got a higher bandwidth. It's got a gigabit connection. So we we own a thirteen thousand square foot building, and we've converted fifteen hundred square feet of it into a, a makeshift data center over the past two years. The makeshift data center um, has uh, mining equipment in it today from years ago. You know, we currently have been experimenting with some POW coins. The business, there are other businesses inside of the 13,000 square feet, including um, a wholly owned IT consulting firm, Mr. Uh, many people are moving to the cloud. Thus, the IT consulting firm has collected dozens of multi-core, rack-mounted 1U, 2U, and 4U servers that are less than seven years old. We believe that we can reuse servers, of which we have approximately uh, 128 cores and two terabytes of RAM and 100 terabytes of storage, redundant of redundant storage, collectively with these rehabilitated servers. See, that's believable because it's true. Yes, it is, and I love it. Thank you. I will make sure I get that down. And and now people can visualize that. We've converted a 1,500 square foot building in or a piece of our big building into uh, a makeshift data center to be a BP. Uh, also in the tech plan is this particular uh, building, because of the IT consulting firm, is already equipped with a one gigabit up and down fiber connection and redundant uh, cable modem and redundant 4G wireless to the building today so that in the event of communications failure, we have a triple path redundancy built in. The IT consulting firm is also a platinum Fortinet partner and we are able to get Fortinet equipment and even used Fortinet equipment from again customers who have upsized their and have no longer need for very good the world's best firewalls which makes our BP one of the most secure in the entire EOS environment. So we're able to reuse uh, perfectly good servers that will serve the EOS environment very well. We will uh, be able to reuse the bandwidth being used on that one gigabit circuit on an average is about 7%. So 93% of that gigabit up and down connection is available for other uses. Wow. And the cable modem is completely open and the, and the 4G is completely open as backup okay. circuits. By the way, I just remembered, we have just completed upgrading the transformer and doubling the uh, KVA of the transformer uh, in 2017 when we made the 1500 square foot space available to do POW, POS, DPOS uh, scaling. So think about it. We have triple redundant internet circuits. We have doubled our capacity of our transformer. We have a great relationship with the local power supplier, by the way, who is Duke Energy, who is one of the least expensive power suppliers in the world. Uh, we've been able to negotiate our rates down 20 or 30 percent um, in the way that we use the power and the way it's configured. We've been working with Duke's engineers to maximize our power and reduce our cents per kilowatt so that we can be green and you know use less energy. And that's true. We're going to reuse these servers. Why not? We're collecting them, right? right. We're going to use the existing bandwidth from another business because it has 90, 93% of it free, open. Why not? Right. Right. We're paying for it. Um, so in summary, you know, we have triple redundant internet connections. We have doubled our 
power and have the ability to double it again if we want. We have we have the floor space paid for. Um, uh, we have uh, basically unlimited supply of either free or 10 cents on the dollar servers to scale up in a very green and uh, low cost way. What's going on, crypto sports fans? Clay Albright here. Hey, Clay. Will Crypto all the way from Arizona. I want to thank you for all you do, all the amazing content. Keep up the good work. I thought I'd answer your question regarding what app I am most excited about. And there's a lot of apps that's kind of hard to narrow it down, but if I had to pick one, I would say it's the ride-sharing applications that will be built on EOS. And the reason why I say that is because it is probably the uh, very simple case that average people can use that is access to a ride-hailing service without needing to know anything about cryptocurrencies. They could simply download an app, uh, have a direct you know, U.S. dollar fiat you know, credit card conversion into the rideshare token. But that would all be done on the back end. They would have no... Uh, visibility on this if they didn't want to, and so this would make it uh, fairly easy to pay for the service, and they could actually see that it's in some ways better. They get a better user experience from the drivers. Um, they don't have to register online for any tokens. Again, it works pretty much the same way Uber does or Lyft does, but without the higher fees, and so you have a direct competition for a legacy system that charges a lot of fees and impacts the payments for both the, the riders and, you know, less take-home pay for the drivers. But the other component is a little bit more subtle, and that is the fact that there's a lot of passionate people within EOS who may not be, um, you know, well-established coders or may not have experience coding, but they have other, you know, abilities. They have other talents. And so this would be really the first, uh, one of the first opportunities on EOS for average people who are within EOS who have a car to basically start a business, and that would be a ride-sharing business. So we're taking, um, we're giving people within EOS that ability to basically be a part of, uh, I guess, cultivating this network, this ride-sharing network, basically starting a business from, you know, the ground up. And, um, again, the alignment of incentives there for those that uh, start that, or in the early days is is fairly high. Now there's more lake work in the beginning, but there's a lot of incentives. So I just think that is something that is going to be exciting. Uh, I hope that answers your question. I want to just again thank you for all you do. Um, really unique way that you go about uh, presenting your content, and I think you know seeing a lot of love from the community. So uh, yeah, go EOS and uh, thanks Clay. Peace.